Before migrate ability system to your project, you need to copy gameplay tags to your project config folder. Run the project and open project settings to see result. Now you can migrate ability system to your project. Note that you need to select content folder. Let's add inputs to project settings. Create new action. This name is used in Quick Slot Manager in initialize function. Copy this name and paste. Create new inputs for this action. If you don't have your own HUD widget, you can use my. Just note that I create HUD widget in player controller. If you have your own HUD widget, you need just copy all content from my HUD to your HUD. Also, you need to create on drop function and copy logic. This function is used to clear quick slot using drag and drop. Function is triggered only if HUD is visible. Let's look at player character class. I have player character for third person mode and player character for top down mode. They are children of BP player character. All player logic is implemented in this class. This class is child of BP character. BP AI class is also child of BP character. Most likely you want to use your own player character class, so I will show you what logic you need to copy. First, add ability manager. You don't need set any settings in this manager. Add ability system interface. And add logic to some functions. For start data parameter, you can set my preset as default value. Copy logic from BP character to your player character class. Create distribute damage function and copy logic for this function from BP player character class.
and copy all logic from BP player character class from event graph. Let's look at my top-down player character class. Camera settings are slightly changed. Let's look at my third-person player character class. Equipment manager is added. Let's copy equipment manager to your player character class. And set settings. The same for player controller. I have player controller for third-person mode and for top-down mode. If you use your own player controller class, you need to copy all logic from event graph. And add interface. The same for top down. First uh, create uh, functions, then copy logic from event graph. And add quick slot manager. I will use player controller for third person mode. For this I need to open uh, game mode and set this player controller. To save and load the game I use save game class and game instance class. If you don't have your own classes, ju just open project settings and set my game instance class. If you have such classes, I suppose you already know how it works. So you need just copy all logic. In Ability System Project I have very simple Equipment Manager and Weapon class. When weapon is equipped and unequipped, animation instance is changed. Since character model from my test project hasn't any animations for Archer and Warrior, I will use character model from Mobility System Project. If you want to use your character model and for demo content to work correctly, you need to copy some sockets from Ability System Skeleton to your skeleton. In details panel we can see bond name. The socket is attached to. In Ability System Project I use two game modes. To implement this, when I open level, I use level options to set needed game mode. Most likely you will use only one game mode, so you don't need to use level options. And when we open level, we need to set correct level name. Let's check result.
Let's look at any other actors, for example tower. I have separate class BP tower. Ability manager is added. Ability system interface is added. Some functions are implemented. Start data is specified when you place actor on this scene. Tower behavior is implemented in event graph. Let's set data. If you want to use my AI character class, you just need to place AI spawner on this scene and set spawn radius. Also, don't forget to place nav mesh bounce volume on this scene. But most likely you want to use your own AI character class. Let's look at AI character class in my test project. Now this class is empty. I just set ability system character model. Add ability manager and ability system interface. BPI is parent class for all AI in project. Let's copy all variables from BPI. Copy all logic from BPI from event graph. Create distribute damage function. Copy health bar widget component from BPI. Now we need copy logic for monster, so I create child class BP monster. Logic will be copied from BP Monster A. Copy Equipment Manager. Copy all logic from Event Graph.
for visual debugging to work, make sure that character capsule collision blocks traces by visibility. If AI and player character classes have the same parent, you need to copy this logic.